and the yes. Welcome everybody to a new song. I'm um, sorry we had some technical difficulties. The power has been a little bit of fritz after all the rain we've had this weekend, but we're back. We're good. We're going. Uh, and so we're here. Uh, I want to welcome our special guest this week, Emily Kay. Emily Kay. Oh, I don't even know where Sharon is. Emily. <laughs> Emily Kay. I don't know why I had to Sing it like Emily K. Emily K. Yes, yes. And hold on one moment. I gotta fix this so that the whole thing can work. <laughs> yes, we love we love Emily around here, and we also are blessed as always to have the beautiful Ashley Jenkins with us. Hello. Gorgeous. Hello. How are you doing this week, Ashley? Hello. Uh, I made it, mm. is what I'm saying. I'm here, and I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. Uh, you know, the weather people get on my nerves sometimes, because they said that it was supposed to rain today, and it did not. And that's fine, because the sun was out, but it sets you up to be carrying more than you want to when you go outside of the house. Yeah, because you had a blanket and an umbrella and uh, a bag. And, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> um, so overall, I'm great. Good. I'm great. Good. Emily, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You know, I worked all day. Started at 8 a.m. And now I'm here, which is so much better than folding pants. Where? So. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I was about to say, where do you work? But then you said folding pants, so, so some sort of clothing. Yes. Store. Lululemon. You know? <gasps> Oh, Lulu. Lulu is too expensive, but I like her. <laughs> I like her in a clearance. <laughs> I like her in a clearance situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how oh. are you? You know, I'm good. Derek I'm, Byers? You know, I did. I, I go to the first step. multi Am I alive? artist extraordinaire? Physically? I'm yes, sorry, I am ahead. physically alive. There's energy running through my body. Yeah. So that's the first step, yes. So, but other, other yes, G generally speaking, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, it's you know, it's been busy as usual, but we're good. You know, we see, you know, and <coughs> want to do a shout out to the tech team and everybody who transformed the room Ayati. today. We all got all this. Go ahead. Ayati, I just shouted out Ayati. Why? Crew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we stand by y'all. <laughs> Except for none of them, I don't think are you. But anyway, it's uh, fine. <laughs> Crew, symbolic. Crew, yes, our crew. This is the Park Avenue crew. Thank you. Yes, uh, but they transformed the room today. You see all the beautiful, wonderful stuff they did, so we can have a little bit of festivity. It's tonight. really decked out. I think I just ordered these to go in my backyard. Oh, well, there you go. They they're nice. They work. They work nice. Look at the Amazon. 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 I don't have a backyard yet. For anybody who's wondering, <laughs> I just. But oh, which which fine. we'll We're get to that story later. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Ooh, manifesting. Ha! Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we do. Look at God. We'll talk about those words. So, later on in the show, I do want to veer off from the normal program and we'll talk a little bit more Halloween y things. Yeah. But for now, I do want to start with kind of the prayer of the week and how. And wrap that into this week. So the prayer this week is, Dear Lord, you continue to restore our soul. You never leave us empty nor alone, but send angels to accompany accompany us on the journey. Thank you for new beginnings and always and a ways forward, a future unimagined but already prepared by your grace. Amen. The first thing... You know I'm going to ask you to read it again. Yes. Yeah, I'll just read it again. So okay. yeah. Dear Lord, and would you just do these first two sentences? Okay. You continue to restore our soul. You never leave us empty nor alone, but send angels to accompany accompany us on the journey. Mm-hmm. In that first part, dear Lord, you continue to restore our souls, especially after, not after, we're still in the middle of the pandemic, mm-hmm. but <laughs> 2020, 2021, all of the many things. Mm-hmm. that have already happened I feel like we all need that restoration mm-hmm. you know yeah I've been finding myself lately not exactly knowing what to pray for like not knowing what the words are that I should use to pray but asking God to like just like come sit with me and let me feel whatever whatever you can give me in whatever that particular moment is and just asking God to like pour in right and i think i always think it's really interesting that we use that phrase like pour into me or with our friends and our family thank you for pouring in to me and when you associate that with like restoring or restoration like that's just what I I don't know I don't know if anybody else makes that connection but just like I just think that's such beautiful imagery Mm -hmm. of to be restored you have to be poured into and God does that in in many different ways which we talked about last week about and the week before themes themes really like uh how when God needs us to receive something, sometimes it will be in an obvious way and it'll be right there, smack dab in front of us. And other times he'll use people around us to pour into us because clearly none of us can see, feel, or hear God in, in the conventional sense of the word, right? But to reach us, to restore us, God will manifest itself into a person that's near us, that's walking down the street and stuff. Well, as we talked about last week too, sometimes you have to kind of let go of a bunch of stuff you don't need to be holding on to so that you can have space for the new stuff. And, you know, and you talk about, you know, restoration for me, like, especially artistic restoration. I find that I have to like clearly have like, I have periods of time when I can write in the, as a, you know, and as a, you know, as a writer, I kind of feel like a lot of the times it's like, yes, I wrote that, but at the same time I didn't write that Mm -hmm. of yes, it came through my brain, but like through it, not from it, you know? And uh, so it's still mine, but it, it, it's, it's the, the energy, the essence of it is coming from somewhere else. And so I have times where I feel like I'm connected to that and I can write all I want. But then there are times where it's like I, especially during the winter, during the colder seasons, Mm -hmm. where it's like I really benefit from just sitting and watching and sitting and looking Mm -hmm. and taking in creative inspiration. Mm -hmm. And and I've almost gotten into that cycle now Mm -hmm. of where uh, during the winter, during the colder months, it's, I might write a little bit, you know, Christmas makes me happy, so I'll get a little excited. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so we can write a little bit there. Jolly. But, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, you know, outside of, uh, you know, but then as we get into January, I'm like, okay, this is my time to like, 
Because also, too, my brain does a thing, too, where, or I guess everybody's brain does this, but I, I notice this a lot where I'll start a project, but then sometimes I just need to go put it in the kennel. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. And let it, like, and I'll check, be like, you ready? No, no. Yeah. And then when it's ready, it'll be like, oh, here, da, 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 da. And I found that because of, like, the way my brain works, because growing up, I, or at least even professionally, I did lighting design, sound design, costume design, directing, choreography, all of it. And so w- it takes a little longer mm-hmm. <laughs> for the, mm-hmm. it has to process through all the different brains. Mm-hmm. And then, but when it's done, it's like, oh, now I see exactly what needs to be happening. Mm-hmm. And you go here, you go here, this goes blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's interesting balancing out those two halves of the brain of, and also reminding myself, that's a lot of output when you're doing that. I need to match that input yeah. when I'm pulling in things for myself and restoring, you know, myself. Emily, what does what does restoration look like for you? I think like like kind of what you just said of like how your brains work of like for me artistically if I'm putting something together, I kind of have to just sit and look at it for like hours or days before I can even begin to like formulate something. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm putting together a show, it just it means me just like listening. Like you said for days, just like listening to different music and artists and different people tell stories, telling stories for me to even begin to understand what story I want to tell. Like I'm putting together my show and it just took me days of like just thinking, like listening to everyone around me talking to try to figure out like, what do I want to say? Like, I don't know what I want to say. I don't know what I want this to be. I don't know like, like where I am currently and trying to find our way back to like where we were from this very strange period of time is is tricky and for me it's just a lot of sitting back and like listening before I can before I can piece like put the puzzle together <laughs> and, that's yeah. and that's hard because I, I had kind of it's hard to because I feel like when you get in that place of of I don't know what to do or I don't know which way this needs to go we, we you know you fi- you panic not panic but you try to hurriedly get to that safe space of where you want to go but it kind of brings me to I'm probably not gonna remember what key this is in you might know but you know, we, we panic to kind of get back to that. Because um, I was feeling that way this weekend with something I was working on. Of I didn't know which way to go with it. And it actually just hit me sometimes the best thing to do in those moments is just kind of be, like yeah. you're saying, and yeah. let it come in. And it brings you to the Donna Brooke Larkin song. Wait. Let me just add a different key. What do you do? done all you can and seems like you can't make it through Every time, and um, wait. What's the what's the song? That's why I said it's called Wait. Wait on the Lord, and it's Donnie McClurkin. He has a version with him and Karen Clark Sheard. You know, 
that's and, and, and I encourage people to go listen to it because oh, say what? Wait on the Lord. That 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 I think I, I know it, but and you can read some of the lyrics from it, but like it that song specifically has a lot of yeah. It just sits it and it and it, it took me till I was older to really actually understand what that meant. Because, you know, we do it in person. I played in church. But it took me to go uh, understanding what just standing means. So this, just these first two moments. Um, Sometimes in life you'll find that you get in a hurry. But when you have assurance, there's no need to you can wait, wait, wait on the Lord, and you'll see he always keeps his word. You must just trust in him. Don't be dismayed. Don't be dismayed. If you just, and it just keeps going on. But the point is, that's another song that talks about specifically when you get in a hurry, mm. right? Mm -hmm. I am just now uh, really being okay with having the patience to wait as a creative artist because like how you're saying you sit and like just kind of let things come to you and I am like, no, I should already know. If I know that I want to do this, it should all the vi I, I had this vision, so then the vision should just be complete, and I should be able to do it. <laughs> Why not? I don't understand. So uh, I am, all, I'm in such, I have such admiration for artists who are able to do that comfortably, and like that, make that intentionally a part of their process, because <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> I keep hearing the thing like I don't chase I attract like in terms of life mm. and like work and things like that mm. I don't chase things I attract them mm. Good. it's very hard for me to actually <laughs> do though or like put into practice because I'm like no I I work hard and I, I that's do real you know, good like what you said I, I don't chase I attract mm -hmm. and to attract you have to sit still because mm -hmm. otherwise mm. That's the knowledge. That's good. Ha! Oh, my, 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 my. Look at God. Oh, glory, glory, glory. So she continues in the prayer to yes. say, you never leave us alone. So you never leave us empty nor alone, but send angels to accompany, accompany us on the journey. Now, who was it? A couple. I think the first, no, it was the second um, show. Well, we're not going to sing through it, but we didn't know it was alone, which. Oh, God. <laughs> da, 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 da. But yeah, we're not going to sing it. But that obviously yeah. is what comes to mind. But it's, it's hard to feel sometimes. You kind of go, do, do, do you? I definitely feel sometimes where it's like, am I empty? Am oh. I alone? <laughs> yeah. When, you know, underneath it, yeah, if you, if you look at, you know, you, generally speaking, for most people, not for everybody, but most people aren't alone physically. They have some, right. whether it's a friend, whether it's a roommate, it's a something, mm -hmm. you know, you have somebody. Um, but that feeling empty, I, it's, but then, even like this weekend, but then, you know, sometimes maybe that's not you being empty. Maybe that's the feeling of you need to sit for a moment. Yeah. Maybe that's not empty, because maybe if you was empty, you wouldn't be alive. So maybe, you, you know, we well, might think that's You're preaching on today. Eve, you're preaching on today. You're saying words. You know, but going back to that sitting, maybe that's, you know, you, I, I think about sometimes we work hard and we work hard and we work hard and we get to that place where you know like you're like i'm done for right now i just need to stop yeah. and maybe that's because that's what's supposed to happen maybe it's because you do need to take a break for a little bit now isn't that interesting that most of us anyway automatically go to something being wrong instead of 
looking at it like, oh, okay, I'm at a restorative place right now. Like I'm at a pit stop. Like that's supposed to fill me up. But we automatically think like, why am I stopping? Why? And that's that's some sort of con crazy conditioning too of being an artist, being on the grind, being you know that we're like, why? What's wrong with me? Like I need, I'm supposed to be able to press through this. I need to go, go, go. Sometimes you need to stop, stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Which then allows for the next part of the prayer. Thank you for the new beginnings that come after that and the ways forward, a future unimagined but already prepared by your grace. And I, I like that because it, it, it alludes to the fact that, yes, we still have choice within that future, but the path is laid for what we want to do. You know? I like that it says ways, mm -hmm. not a way. there is a way. Yeah. It says ways, multiple options that God can see that we can't see. And I think if we practice and train ourselves to uh, think like God, that when we come up against something, it's like, okay, I don't know how we're about to get out of this, but there's there's options. Like, I'm going to be fine, regardless of what happens. This is most likely going to work out okay, no matter what happens. Because if it doesn't end up how I think it's going to, there's always some other some other way. Yeah. So when I read that, I I especially that part um, really rang reson, resonated with me. Mm -hmm. That it was multiple multiple ways. Well, and that that also it's like it's it, that's almost a double edged sword, too, because it's like that means. What if I choose the wrong path? <sighs> You know, Dear. what if I choose, you know, what if I don't know what is the correct, you know. Um, but I think there's something in there that that lends itself to there's grace for those stumbles. And, you know, even though we, we might not know, there is some assurance that, uh, well, maybe somebody does know. Mm -hmm. if, if God can see the multiple ways, you know hopefully we have the faith I think this is where faith comes in that we have the faith that whatever those roads we go down yeah that we'll be okay yeah and like you said there'll be moments where we have to sit and stand mm -hmm. run and the, and the jump truth is, be if, happy if we knew we probably we're probably supposed to go down that way and if we knew what was ahead then we wouldn't go and we wouldn't learn or gain the things that we're supposed to. So it's good that we don't know. <laughs> and then being okay with not knowing. Yeah, that's 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 and like that's, that's, that's where the thing comes in. in. It's like now. It's like, but I don't. I don't know. Now <laughs> you asking a lot. You asking a lot. You asking me not to know. You don't want to tell me, and you want me to be comfortable. Absolutely not. No, God. <laughs> no. Which way is up? Can't see. 
That was a good song. Yeah, we're doing that actually not next week. It's in two weeks. November 10th. Two weeks, weeks, I think. Two weeks. November 10th. We're doing the 30th. 30th. Oh, Halloween. (laughs) 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 I mean, tomorrow is. That makes sense. But yes, Adult Tell Mamas. 7 p.m. Yes. My first solo show. It's going to be great. Derek is playing. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. (laughs) (laughs) Scary. I'll be there. (sighs) So. I just love that song. It's it's Mm. a good song. And it's it's you also do Sarah Bareilles really good, <laughs> like like because we do uh, we do in the past we've done a couple other of her writings yeah. of the songs and it, it it fits your voice really Thank well. Thank you. I think I just think her writing is so beautiful and it's different. And like every time I listen to it, I find another thing to like relate to or mm. just point out or find more meaning in. And that's my favorite part of her music is there's just like all these hidden gems in it. And like as you get older as well, you just start to know more. Like I've been listening to Sarah Bareilles since I was probably like. 17 years old, you know, yeah. and like yes, we all now it obviously means so much more to me. No. <laughs> I used to know it. <laughs> Yeah, I learned that song to purposely piss somebody off because ah. they, they that was the one song they could play on the piano, but I could play everything else. And so I learned it because, they, well, they had already pissed to. me off. They had. Uh oh. It was another, it was, it was, it a was a whole other thing. Sort of vendetta. Yes, but it was, yes. But I was like, oh, I can play that too. Yes. <laughs> so you're not going to get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <coughs> let's, let's uh, scoot on along to. Um, the quote of the week. Mm-hmm. So everyone has a gift for something, even if, th- even if it is the gift of being a good friend. Marian Anderson. That's good. Everyone has a gift for something, even if it is the gift of being a good friend. Um, I'm an extremely ambitious person. My husband is not. He's like, just give me my money, and and let give me like I will do this work. Give me my money so that I can go do the things that bring me joy. And I am like, no, I must reach a certain level in my career, and I will feel accomplished with my gifts and my things. Um. And it took me a long time to realize that he's not, he's not, um, just go with me. It's, it's, I got to go around Robin Hood's barn, but the point will be here. Um, it took me a long time to realize that, uh, he's not like hiding from his true self or his true gift. He's not missing out on anything. His true gift is the, is that he realizes the joy in in I don't, this is going to sound pretentious but like the the more regular ways of of life mm-hmm. right i um it took me a long time to like s- appreciate that and when i read that statement it made me think about like um everyone's sense of joy is valid 
and what everyone gives to this world, whether it be something on a large platform or something that they do in their community every day, small, that's like giving a flower to their neighbor every day. It's all valid and it's all pouring in Mm -hmm. to the world and making the world better and um well kind of along that same same vein kind of like even even things that might you know pisses up pisses not necessarily pisses off in the moment but like scare us in the moment or something like that and i'm leading into a story you were telling earlier you know even even being pranked and, and goofy things mm. are needed so uh, i wish you would tell the story that we were talking right. about earlier and this will also demonstrate the difference between my mm-hmm. husband and myself mm-hmm. uh <laughs> but anyway the the <laughs> So we are in the midst of looking for a house, Mm -hmm. like to buy a house. And I found this this, uh, thing on Craigslist, and they were looking for couples to come in and view this house. And they said it's going to be kind of diff. It's very house hunter-esque, like on HGTV. The difference is usually they have couples, several couples, I mean, I'm sorry, one couple go see several houses. Mm -hmm. And this time they said, no, we want several couples to come and see this house. And there's money. (laughs) Bet. I'm there. So I said, babe, you want to do this? And my husband is not in the entertainment industry. Uh, And he was like, and I said, there's money. He was like, bet. We're there. (laughs) So (laughs) we go, we talk to the producer, tell her everything. She's asking us questions like, oh, where did you meet? And oh, who's the messy one? And who likes to... You know, who's the cook of the house? Who appreciates the kitchen more? Like, all of these questions, right? That's how they set it up. We get there. We get to the door. And the the, the producer is like, this is what's going to happen when we start. Your The realtor is going to come to the door. She's going to, you know, escort you in and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, cool, yes. And uh, we walk in. And she's like, and here's the foyer. And I'm looking, you know, oh, yeah, da 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 We go through, you, you come into the house, go to the left, into the, it, through the living room, through the dining room, into the kitchen. So we start in the living room, look around. Oh, this is nice. Blah, 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 blah. Go into the kitchen. Oh, look at this. Oh, babe, there's an island. My husband is the primary cook. There's an island. And he's looking around, yeah. And so she opens one of the cabinets, and this little, like, figurine, falls out and it kind of looks like Beetlejuice like so I was like oh okay they like Beetlejuice whatever it falls out she's like oh that's weird she puts it back in there closes the cabinet and we're like okay cool (laughs) and my husband is looking at like their little placards you know those things that say like you know love in your kitchen mm-hmm. or Live, kiss laugh, the cook love. or like right like <laughs> one of those things he's like babe look at this and I'm like oh, okay um and so she says you know what there's there's um something I forgot to show you in the living room we go she said let's go back in there so we go back into the living room and on the coffee table that was empty before it had nothing on it there's this figurine sitting on the thing there's nobody else in this house <laughs> I vomit <laughs> but us so there's the the figurine it's about the size of this flower arrangement here I said uh and and she caught it first she said oh what what is this and i looked and i said what I said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. And she was like, that's so strange. She takes it and throws it into the fireplace. So my husband is like. <laughs> <laughs> into the fireplace. I'm like, why did she put the what is back happening? In the closet and why did she put that? The what closet? is happening? And my husband is like, that's a nice coffee table. Like, look at that. He, and then he was like, oh, dang, doesn't that belong to the people? So then she's like, I don't know what that is. So we go walk up the stairs. My husband is walking. And I'm like, hey, spirits in here. Like, I'm not with it. I don't know what you're doing. I don't like it. And she's like, yeah, spirits, yeah, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) And so we go up the stairs, go into the bedroom, and there's an even bigger figurine sitting on the bed. And I'm standing at the door. And she says, oh, this is so weird. I'm going to go call. Let me go downstairs and call whoever. I said, Mm. you mean you want (laughs) us to call? 
You want us to go? Let's all go call. Let's go call whoever it is. Together. <laughs> Together. And so she's like, this is just so strange. Y'all, my husband, it was a, like a walk-through closet where you could walk through to get to the bathroom and stuff. He is in the closet going into the bathroom like, oh, look at this. These floors. This is so nice. Look at this walk-in closet. I'm like, sir, let's go. Why are you still? All right. So we go downstairs with the lady and standing at, we're standing like in the living room. Remember you come from the foyer into the living room. I'm at the door. This man goes and sits down in the chair in the living room. And I knew like something was just happening. And around the corner comes a live person dressed like the figurine. I run out of the door. I said, no, and run out on to, and my husband is still in there. Like he's still like chilling in the chair. So I run out and I'm yell I'm standing on the sidewalk yelling at the house, no, no, I don't want it. And there's crew members sitting outside looking at me like, what is wrong with her? Like what it, what is wrong? <laughs> so now I'm really thinking like, dang, is my husband against me? Like is is You're he like, a part he of it? Like me. what is going on? Cause he's way too calm. I go back at the door, go back inside, and I'm yelling at him like, let's go, let's go. And he's just cracking up. He just thinks it's all so funny. And I go to open the door, and Anthony Anderson and his mom, and for those of y'all who don't know who Anthony Anderson is, if you watch Blackish, he plays the dad on Blackish with Tracy Ellis Ross. He runs up the stairs, and he's like, where are you going? Where are you going? And it was crazy. We go back inside, y'all. The lights go off. And I'm just like, I don't understand um, what oh, is happening. Oh, here we go again. Okay, the power must be going out oh. from earlier. Um, I don't know if the stream is still up, but I think it is. Um, let me go fix this. Uh -oh. I'll be right back. Okay. That's weird. Derek. Derek. Stop. I <laughs> Okay, 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 yay! This is funny, this is funny, this is funny. This is, I don't. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna leave. What is this? Sorry, that happens when mm. you restart. No. What? Sorry, that was the computer. Anyways. The lights just go off, off as soon as I... Um, what happened to Emily? Oh, she must have went to the bathroom. I don't know. But anyways. The lights go off as soon as I said the lights go off. I'm not playing with y'all. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know why it I'm was, such an easy you, target for these things. But before we started, we set up here for the first 10 minutes, couldn't get the lights on. It's the same thing. I just went and closed the breaker again. It's oh. nothing. It's the same thing. Okay. But anyways, hopefully Emily will be back soon. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you can, you can so Anthony Anderson came anyway, out. Anyway, so he came and his mom, and they're like, we're house, ha house haunters. So it's on Discovery Plus, and you'll see me screaming no at the house and yelling. And the crew, they, they loved us. They thought they we were their favorite. <laughs> well, that's the thing too. That's why it's like when you when I think about like black people in scary movies, like scary movie is real, and that's, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I, I didn't understand You're why like, uh -uh. Anthony, no. my husband's name is Anthony, and then Anthony Anderson is also why my Anthony was really just sitting there, like. Like he was cool that this grown Beetlejuice clown looking woman was. <laughs> I said, please don't. Oh, this thing. Clown, clowns are a whole nother I thing. Don't, but I like, don't. I don't. like, so I was it. watching this. One of the people that I watch on YouTube, Shane Dawson, he did a whole special where they went to this very haunted bridge in Colorado. Yeah. And when they got done inspecting the bridge, they came back and in front of their car was a little clown painting. That was just sitting on the side of the road, and they would because it's like if when you pulled up, you would have seen it with the headlights because the headlights were focused on it. Yep. And it was like I was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. Here's the thing about clowns. First of all, why are you a grown? Because usually men. Why are you a grown man <laughs> trying to entertain children? That's weird. Get out of here. Secondly, when I hear the 
do in my mind I see the clown doing like this. Yeah. Like that's the transfer that's the transition. So all clowns are it. Absolutely. Don't I don't want to go near the sewer. I don't want to know because I don't I, I don't even remember did they yell something the clowns from the movie it? Did they or did I they just grab you? I think well they would talk but like pretty Mm-mm. much you, yeah you, you, you should be really down. Nope, uh-uh. nope, 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 nope. Thank you. Nope. I only watched I'm the first fine. one. I was like nope. Nope. Never again. Thanks but the f- ironically, when I was in middle school, our show choir, so we had the sixth graders were clowns and the seventh and eighth grade were were dressed in suits. But yeah, so so it was always interesting going into schools because we tour around the other schools and seeing which kids. We were happy clowns. No. But None of it. I don't <laughs> care. Cause then, but I don't know what's scarier, it or a bunch of sixth graders dressed up as clowns who just came from the the, the mall. It's all a problem <laughs> because if you're scary clown and you have the teeth, I don't want that. If you're happy and you're just smiling, are you on lithium? Why are you that happy? <laughs> Nobody is. Get out of my face. I'll fight you in the street. You know, but, but however, though, at least they're showing on emotion. What's more scary to me is like... The like, for instance, like for example, like the Michael Myers, like that mask where it's just no emotion. It's just this solid nothing. Because you know, they, they, the whole story behind that is they went and they got a, I think it was Captain Kirk mask from, uh, not Captain Kirk, yes, Captain Kirk from um, Party City when they were making the original movie when they're making the first Halloween in the seventies, and they painted it white to get rid of all of it. So it's, it's, um, I can't think of his name who just went to space. Um, who played Captain Kirk? White man. <laughs> What is his name? I don't know. What is his name? I don't know, what? man. What? I don't know. William Shatner. That's it. Oh. See, William Shatner. See, somebody would know. Uh, <laughs> there it is. And, uh, I, uh, names, they don't come. I don't come. think I realized But it was, so it was like his face, but then painted, made it, took all the expression out. And it's like, there's something they, like when they hit on that mask. And there's just something about this expressionless. Yeah. Because where is your soul? Where is it? It doesn't exist. There... <laughs> I saw this thing on on Instagram. This little boy, this guy dressed up as Mike Mike M- Michael. Do we say the whole name? Mike Myers. Um, it feels too familiar. Like Mike. Anyway, whatever. Um, he's dressed as Mike Myers, and he has the thing. And he's standing behind this little boy who's dressed up like a cowboy. And the little boy maybe was like four or five. And whoever's taping says, "Turn around, Timmy." And he sees Michael Myers, and you expect the little boy to, like, ah, or start Uh crying. He goes like this. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. (laughs) And then (laughs) then the the, the, (laughs) the, the (laughs) (laughs) And so as he's hugging Mike Myers, it's like, oh, and Mike Myers takes a nice (laughs) behind him. It is. Mm, But ain't that people, though? But ain't that people, though? But isn't that children? Yes, children. They're so pure. But yes, that careful is the people. things you say. Children will listen. They but anyways, uh, but yes, but then Michael Myers, he, he, us older people. Yes, yeah, it's all very scary. I don't like any of it. <laughs> have you have you been to see the new Halloween movie? No, the new one? no, no, and I shan't. <laughs> Why not? Because I can't deal with anything jumping out or like just. Even the music, al- y'all. I close. I do like this to Law and Order. <laughs> I do like this to Law and Order, or you know, any any cop shows. Murder She Wrote. I'll be like, oh, even God, Murder oh, She Wrote. God, Angela, even Angela Lansbury. There are a couple. There are a couple times where she be in the shadows, yeah. and you see a shadow come across. Yeah, you and know. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I don't want it. No. So the answer is absolutely. But it's not no. real. No, I don't care. But because here's what happens, and I dream at night, and that feels real. That feels real. That Freddy Krueger, absolutely not. I'm not doing Freddy or Mike. I don't want either parts of anybody. You're like, nobody coming after me. Nobody coming after me. I don't want my feet sinking down into the carpet in my dreams. Don't come and find me. Don't, with your William Shatner face, come and (laughs) find me with your knife. And why is it still happening anyway? Yeah, because that first movie was what? Jamie Lee <laughs> Curtis. She went from young teen to wow. Well, she's I in mean, her Jamie 60s still now. look good. Jamie, you know, she's oh, well. Then, but in stuff, the movie, she's been movie, through it. She's Have you seen the previews for the? She, she, her character has been through it, rightfully yeah. so. Yes, because you've been chased by a madman. 
for wh- how many? Uh, twen- th- Since the seventies, I think the first one was in the seventies. What year are we in? Seventy nine to twenty one. We're in twenty one. <coughs> no thanks. No, yeah, twenty one. No thanks. I'm no. good. See, that's that's the thing. But if you like, I said all those movies ain't, ain't not we we ain't there. But is it? And I think I heard you talking about this this this. I haven't. I still. I I hate to miss this, but I still have yet to finish all of Lovecraft Country because it got a little too scary. And I was just like, oh, okay, yeah. we need to take a break from this. A little oh bit. yeah. Like I I got to the house episode, and I was just like, when they're in the house and they for the tra- first time in the basement and the like ghost the black. Oh. Yeah. I liked the concept a lot. Yeah. But I was like, oh. And now I'm like, oh, there probably are certain places. Now, now, and because of that in my brain, I'm like, if I ever go to some of those places, I'd be like, oh, my people. But it was still really I scary. think that's why it was fine for me, because it was my mm. people. And I was like, yep, I would do that. They're not coming after me. Yep, that, yeah. yeah. And I wonder if that's how that would actually be. I think so. I mean, I know we always joke, like, no, black people would run. Like, we wouldn't even be there that long. But I... But we, you know, we we fight back. You yeah, know. against a lot of stuff. We cast spells. So. Oh, I hope Emily's okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't know where she is. She Has anybody seen Emily out maybe there? Maybe she had the poop. I don't know. Maybe I hope not. The poop piece? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> well, you're a mother. You have a child. I am. The, the, that, I just that, that's that. what goes in my mind. Like maybe you know her tummy hurts or something. She was nervous about thinking. Where's my phone go? Wait, but are you going to leave me here again? No, I don't know what I did with my phone. For the lights to go off. Derek, (laughs) stop (laughs) this. I didn't do that. That was not me. Derek, Derek. Ashley, okay, stop. Now, you really need to stop. I'm not doing anything. What are you talking about? Did you make that thing restart a button or something? No, I'm pressing it, but nothing's happening. So I'm not doing this. <laughs> Derek, this is supposed to be the house of the Lord. <laughs> well, spirits, they exist everywhere, I guess. No, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Ah! 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 Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Why don't I don't have come weapons? Over here. You got your umbrella. You got your umbrella. <laughs> Would you grab the candle? Do you do this for, the, for Michael Myers? <laughs> do you do it? Hey, hey. Um, what's the saying when they say I can pal the stop it? I can pal the um, Hail Mary, Mother of Grace. What is I it? I don't know. What's happening? So many nights seem destined to settle for something small. But I won't rest until I know I'll have. So don't ask where I'm going. Just listen when I'm gone. And far away, I knew she was doing hear me singing softly through the dark. Good morning, go on, stay and ramble. funny emily very I funny so that, that that's <laughs> very funny emily that's a song that we've done a couple of times we always have this joke that, that she sings so this is from pippin that's man's song oh funny you can come sit down i don't know why you stand over there no, you can you come sit down. over there it's just emily she just put on the mask here we have a nice little soft music oh <laughs> <sighs> Hey, move that way. Move that way. So, Michael, what brings you here tonight? Nothing? No. So... (laughs) She didn't get the edges laid a little bit better. Sort of like... Oh, 
don't play with it. <laughs> Any questions for Michael, <laughs> Ashley? <laughs> Michael, this is it's 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 Um, Michael. Where do you shop for your jumpsuits? Because they fit really nicely. Uh, Michael. Uh, uh, so, this was a fun joke. Thanks, Emily, for having so much fun. Where'd you go? What happened? I had to steal Emily's soul so I could sing. No, no, no. She's gone now. 